Good afternoon and welcome to Twerton Park for this National League South fixture between Bath City and Eastbourne Borough. Our visitors, well, they're one of the surprise packages of the season. A huge boost after a takeover back in the summer saw them go full time. We would have confidently expected them to have been challenging for promotion. Instead, they languish in 22nd place in the league, four points behind Taunton, who have four games in hand. More realistically, you have to say they are really at least about seven to nine points adrift from safety. They're currently on their third manager since June last year, with Adam Murray coming in a few weeks back to replace Mark Beard. Murray will be familiar with Twerton Park. He was formerly assistant manager at Cheltenham and played here for Mansfield when City were in Conference National. If the managership has been a bit of a merry-go-round, then player selection has been more of a pick and mix, with 37 players being used in all competitions this season. It's clearly hard when there are so many choices at the Sweetie counter. And they're still adding. Last week, bringing in Jake Hutch Hutchinson, a former player, who's recently been at Queen of the South in Scotland, and on Thursday, midfielder Alfie Bendel from Forest Green Rovers. For City, today marks the end of a mini-era, as all fans would have been sad to see the departure of Jordan Thomas, even if it did feel inevitable. My name's Andrew Kerslake, and alongside me I have our match commentary team of Toby Wellington and Alex Lane Kiltiker. Alex, it's, it's no reflection on the rest of the squad, but boy, are we going to miss Jordan Thomas. Yeah, absolutely, Andrew. Good afternoon. Glad to be back here at Twerton Park. It feels like it's been a while, actually, since we've had some league action here. It has. Saturday. Our mid-season yeah. break. Very much so. And it, it's been, uh, it well, hasn't really felt like much of a break, to be honest. There's still been a lot of action going on recently. It's great to be back here at Twerton Park, even if it is a little bit drizzly. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Jordan Thomas is a huge blow. Him leaving to go to Ch uh, Cheltenham, obviously, we wish him nothing but the best in the future. But he's a player who's been outstanding for City this season. For the rest of the team though, it's about stepping up now. Oscar Thorne has some big shoes to fill. I know he's only a loanee from Colchester, but he'll want to come here and prove that he deserves a spot in that starting lineup as well. Referee just glances down at his watch and away we go. Here we go as Eastbourne kick us off. It's all the way back to Zudzinski and cleared away as uh, Scott Wilson is bundled to the floor straight away here as Cook takes it on the halfway line for City and Hayfield helps one over the top. It's Oscar Thorne with the first chance down the right-hand side. Deep into Eastbourne territory here, sets it back to range, he's going to cross right-footed into the back post and Cook heads forward towards goal and it's tipped over the goal by the goalkeeper Dudzinski and City with the first attempt inside 30 seconds have got themselves a corner. Yeah, that cross from range just flicked off the head of one of Eastbourne's defenders and uh, then Wilson coming in forcing the keeper into a save and a great start by City. Juwan Clark takes this right-footed, whips it in towards the six-yard box, it's headed away to the edge of the box, it's come to Reigns who hits one right-footed and it's gone about five yards over the bar, but a very positive start from City. Yeah, if Reigns had kept his head down there, that could have been uh, heading towards goal. But he's looking very bright so far as Reigns comes across the halfway line, whips one into the box, Diara away, comes all the way back out to Reigns on the right-hand side. Into the feet of Thorne now, he's got Sesse in front of him. And Beard coming across as well to pressure Reigns. Now Russ, Russ into the feet of Thorne. And Thorne's got it now, coming towards the byline, crosses low into the box, Cook flicks it on, Diara clears, and Sesse is there to make the clearance complete. It comes out to the left-hand side, Greenslade, City keeping the pressure on here, Greenslade left-footed into the box, it's Quick at the near post, who's going to clip it, and Lingenza's going to bring it away. Well, we've had ten minutes gone, nil-nil, and I, I don't think Eastbourne have been in possession for more than about a minute of that. No, I don't think that they've been into City's final third either, as Thorne whips one right-footed, but it's intercepted well by Bird, who's going to play it out to the right-hand side to Quick. And Quick's going to look for a ball forward. He's got two strikers ahead of him, Hutchinson and Lingenza. His parcel was leaned into, but the referee plays on. Here's Lingenza. Cuts inside of Dyer, leaves Dyer on the floor, Lingenza left-footed, it's about 10 yards over the bar, but that was the first positive move we've seen from Eastbourne. Ball comes to Wilson for the first time, saying his name, it feels, as Hayfield has it, 25 yards out, shoots low, it comes to Wilson and he's able to direct it goalwards, but Dudzinski makes a good reaction save and gets hold of it. Ball goes forward from Parcel, Olawachara heads away, Russ into Clark, Ewan Clark facing up the defender once again, looking to go into his right foot and cross, chops away onto his left foot 
He's now got pressure from Quick, but he's able to set it back to Greenslade, who gets a foot, uh, left foot across in. It's Cook heads goalwards off the crossbar for City, and Wilson on the rebound is unable to head it goalwards, and Dudzinski has it in his hands. City very, very close once again. Yeah, that ball was dipping just another inch, and that would have been a goal for City. As Ewan Clark lines up this free kick from the left-hand side for City, and they'll be looking for the head of Cody Cook once again, if possible. He's already hit the bar and tested the keeper. Clark, Clark whips it in, comes to Dyer in the box. Dyer left-footed, it's just wide of the goal. It's taken a deflection or a save, I'm not 100% sure. But City have another corner and that's the best chance of the game, arguably. Yeah, Dyer really tried to wrap his foot around that to pull it back across goal. Not quite successful and it just took the faintest of deflections to go behind for City's second corner. It's Clark, right-footed, raises one arm. Whips it in towards the six-yard box, in towards the back post, Diara able to clear away. Joe Reigns gets it, clips it back in, it's in towards Clark, uh, sorry, Cook at the back post, and it's cleared away by Sesse in the end, but City are putting all sorts of pressure on from set pieces here today. Wilson on the left, goes to Greenslade, near the edge of box, about 30 yards out or so, goes back to the left-hand side for Clark. Takes on the defender. On his right now, back onto his left, goes to the byline, sends a left foot across in towards the back post, is head inside their own box. And now Hayfield will take a shot from range, way over the bar though, just drifting upwards. But another good opportunity for City, who've certainly been the demanding team in this game. Yeah, again, Hayfield just slightly leaning back there to get that elevation on the ball. Did have options, could have put it out to the right hand side, Thorne was unmarked out that side. Brilliant kick out from Casagrande to find Wilson. Great first touch. Out to the right hand side now for Thorne. Near the byline. Cassandra cross in. It's a low one. Maybe it should have gone higher that time, but it's out to Reigns. Cassandra cross in again. Plenty of space. It's a poor cross again, though. So much time to take it. Now it's Greenside, who will just take a shot from Range. Goes way over the bar. And you could see the adrenaline floating right through him. Four minutes to go before half time. Greenside wins the header. Clark does really well to flick it over. The head of Bendel brings it inside now, Clark, onto his right foot. And he's brought down by Beard. Man, should be a book in for Beard. He's brought down a few players. This is 11th yellow this season. Incredible. In just 13 league appearances. Dudzinski. Into the box, the ball goes. Wind just swirling his slide. Great ball on to Diara to Legenza. Inside the box, takes a shot. Really well defended by Reigns. Watch the striker all the way. And then Rain sends a ball of a left foot up towards Wilson. Budzinski does really well, just to, well, very, well, very, very well in fact, very, very smartly brings it down and is able to let off the beard. Now back to Bird, flicks it over top this time for Quick, and it will be a free kick for Eastbourne. It's going to be a, a booking on Danny Greenside here. I'm not quite sure what the booking's for. Well, I think Greenslade did turn his man there, just caught him over the shoulder. 12, 13 yards out. We've seen, the long, we've seen the long for a few times, and it comes now. I haven't seen a goal from it yet, though. Thorne not able to flick it on. Clark, challenged that time by the other Clark for Eastbourne. Two Clarks going at it there. Hayfield, now to Ewan Clark. He so, could go over to the right-hand side, has range ahead of him. Doesn't use it yet, though. That is going to take on all the defenders himself, and it will be a free kick, and this will be the last opportunity of the half, you'd imagine. And it was Sesse who brought down Clark. He's going to go into the referee's book here as well. So a few yellow cards in this game, in this first half already. Referee just taking his time, making sure everyone's behaving well on the edge of the box. In comes a free kick now from Clark in towards Hayfield, but it's can't direct, he can't direct the goal woods and it goes way over, way wide. And there'll be another goal kick for Dudzinski to take. From the referee, whistle and mouth, blows the whistle now. And that ends the first half here at Twerton Park. It's Bath City nil, Eastbourne Borough nil. Certainly not enough to split the two sides, not enough quality from each end. City probably edged it slightly, but Eastbourne defended really well. As Dudzinski clears away, and Eastbourne Borough are going to try and come forward for the first time here. But they're unable to do so as Reigns has it in the right back position now for City, but he's under pressure. And that's a poor challenge there by, L uh, by Lingenza and he's going to get the first yellow card of the half and we've not even got three minutes into it yet. Bird comes forward for Eastbourne, it's a good ball from the left back all the way into Quick on the right and he's going to charge down the right hand side looking to cross. He's got Green Slade against him, Quick into the box, he goes down under a challenge. There's a bit of a tangle but referee says no thank you and back to the feet for Quick and Green Slade actually clears it away. 
Yeah, referee, to be fair to him, Crofts indicated there straight away. Well, Hayfield's just played a beautiful ball into the feet of Scott Wilson, and Scott Wilson coming down the left. It's a 3v3 at the moment for City. Wilson lifts one into the box towards Cook, chest control, and Bird is able to clear away left-footed. There's a good chance for City. It's come straight forward again with Parcel into Thorn. Thorn's cross into the six-yard box. It's not a great one, and Dudzinski's able to fall on it and is able to get Eastbourne set up. It's Eastbourne who are taking control of the ball here as Beard lines one up, left-footed, has a go, and it's gone about seven yards wide of Casabrando's left post. But Eastbourne, like we said before, they've changed shape and they're in a much better position on the field when the ball goes dead. Yeah, his kicking has not been necessarily his best attribute here today, but nonetheless, he's uh, got a clean sheet as things stand. As the ball goes forward from Eastbourne, Greenslade does very well to intercept and City are looking to move forward here. That's a good challenge and Jack Clark's going to pick it up now for Eastbourne, ball into Lingenza on the right-hand side, has a go across the goal. It's gone just wide as Hutchinson was coming in at the back post as well. The City living very dangerously as they try to progress into midfield. Jack Clark for Eastbourne into the attack in third now. City looking to do some defending as uh, Bendel and uh, Beard try to play a quick one too, but Green Slade is live to it and plays down the left-hand side to Scott Wilson, whose first touch is going to take him very wide. But he's taken a brilliant second touch and he's got down the left channel, away from the defence. Scott Wilson left-footed cross low into the six-yard box. It's a poor cross and it's going to be cleared away well by Eastbourne. A green Slade quick throw to get it back in place. City not letting the, uh, the game slow down as Clark has it now against Quick. Clark. Looking for options, he's got Cook pulling at his shirt. Still could go back, and he's able to find Hayfield now. Now Greenslade, bit of space. Left foot across, and it's again, it's brilliantly defended at the near post by Eastbourne. Ross comes in to steal the ball, hits a volley, having won the ball, and it's gone nowhere near the goal. And Alex, to my right, with a little chuckle to that one. Uh, as James Allaby goes out for a warm-up, that header forward is going to fall to Hutchinson for Eastbourne. He's hit it first time, it's a good effort. Probably the first shot on target I can remember for Eastbourne, but Casa Grande, very comfortable, gets two hands behind it. Tom Smith is on. I don't know what... Tom Smith on for Oscar Thorne. Oscar Thorne potentially his last appearance for City. His uh, loan runs out this weekend. He's visited as Jerry said before the game. Free kick for Eastbourne nonetheless. It's whipped in by Bendel. It's in towards the six-yard box. It comes to, I think, Diara. And Casa Grande is able to get two hands on it and has done really well to collect that and make sure that there's no second opportunity for an Eastbourne player. As City are going to bring on James Allaby, I'm going to swap back to Alex for the rest of this game. Yes, it's Scott Wilson coming off there, and, but uh, Allaby on for the remaining 22 minutes of this fixture, plus stoppage time. As Clark does really well to get past quite a few red shirts there. He's on the left-hand side, near the box now, goes to Allaby, can send a cross over the left foot to low one, going in towards Smith. Diara's there though, it was clear away. And Russ is able to intercept that one as well. Finds Reigns on the right, has Smith in the overlap, uses Smith near the byline, can send a cross in, right hand side, does so. Ricochets off a defender, and then it's cleared away by Eastbourne. But good energy from City there, as Russ will take the throw quickly into Reigns, into his path. Lovely little back heel back to Russ as well. Brings it inside for Hayfield, about 30 yards out or so. Tries to find an ongoing runner, instead finds Cook somehow inadvertently. Sends a whipping cross in. Too easy for Dudzinski, though, he's able to collect. Goes all the way back to Dudzinski. Clark throwing down, it will be with Clark now. This is dispossessed by Russ. Has a lobby in there. Sends a low cross in towards Cook. Cook come out for Smith. Takes a touch. Edge of box. Takes a shot of the left foot. Should have gone first time with the right. Now it's Clark with a right foot. Way over way wide and it'll be another goal kick. City, this reminds me of the Coldwell Town bit, uh, game a little bit, Andrew, where they're getting plenty of chances but not making the most of them. Cook does really well to dispossess. Be a bad time. Now to the left, foot clock. One on one the keeper, takes for shot. One nil to City! Cook finding Clark. As 1-0 into the bottom corner. And you can sense almost the relief around Twerton Park. The stand, people here leaping to their feet to applaud that. It felt as if that goal was never going to come, but that goal was made by Cody Cook. It was Cook driving through the centre, managing to dodge one or two tackles, just pushing it out to Clark, who had enough room, and Clark fired across goal, making no mistake. And there's 
fists raised in uh, jubilation here on the stand, and Jerry Gill looks a happy man. Absolutely, and I feel just as happy. I could feel the relief come over me when that ball went into the bottom corner, and it was a perfect finish as well, perfectly into the side netting, exactly where you and Clug would have wanted it. And that's his first goal since becoming a permanent Roman here at Twerton Park as well. It's the only goalless game is uh, Taunton and Welling has passed us really well just to put his foot in while Hutchinson was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and it will be another corner this will be Gravata to come over and take I'm just leaving out they swap the corner taker here comes out Clark crowd in the box once again raises really well to head it at the near post and then Clark clears it way up towards Smith well defended that time of Bendel I and mean, then Gravata trying to get a shot off on the left foot Smith in a foot race now does well to win the throw in that time and 50-50 uh, between Darren cook that time. It's brought down by Clark for four Eastbourne this time. And it's not going to be a free kick for City. As Clark takes down, but again, the referee letting play go on again. Ewan Clark this time with a cracking challenge. But Hayfield stays on the turf. Clark now for City. On the left hand side, this time it's going to be a free kick for the Romans. And Hayfield still down on the ground. And uh, the referee letting play go on a bit too long now. So like send the ball forward. Greenside wins for header. Reigns. Is it forward of the left foot? Falls only to Smith though. On the right hand side now with Cook. Could be thrown goal of the keeper. As Diara closing him down, takes for sure. But it should be a, well, it's going to be a corner or a goal kick, depending on the referee's decision. It will be a goal kick. Poor from Cody Cook that time. Not able to convert that into even, a sh even an on target shot. But Smith does really well to dispossess the ball. Tries to take a shot from range with Dzinski off his line. A throw in, which Sesse will take. Just so quickly. So on my right hand side for respawn is brought inside it's a great throw ball to Ballard McBride and Casagrande came out quickly and to be honest I don't think there's too much in that one Casagrande back to his feet Alavi does really well uses his strength but he tumbles over too much momentum on the challenge initially and now Eastbourne able to bring it away with Bendel now Clark left hand side to Beard the captain sent across him with the left foot no so it's a good looking cross good defending as well still in the box with Ballard McBride and Casagrande saves it and misses it from a four yards out. Was it Gravatz and a miss that one? Well, the referee's indicating a, a goal kick. Four minutes of stoppage time to be added on. We're just in the first of those. Now it's taken quickly to Alabi in the corner flag. We'll just hold on to it. May run up the byline or instead try and win a corner. In fact, it comes off Alabi. And uh, I think the City fans wanted him to run into the box, which may have been the better option there as, as they've given away a free kick, Clark. Uh, and Reigns is brought down to the ground, as is, as is uh, oh, there's too many players tumbling to the ground. It's just going silly now. It's, it's almost like a comedy show. Well, lots of pushing and shoving. Reigns went down first of all, and then Smith uh, came in, and now um, it's uh, a bit of a mess. Smith came in and pushed a player, and then Smith in turn was pushed away. There'll be another few yellow cards brandished here, I'm sure. Referee not intervening, just watching what's going on. Well, Alabi and Gravata go into the book then. Dzinski takes the free kick long. Clark wins the header. Now with Gravata on the right hand side of the edge of the box. Send a cross in. It's dying embers of this game. Chance for Eastbourne to try and find equaliser. Green to their first though to charge it down. Comes out to Bendel. Now Gravata again. Clark coming over to help defend. Gravata skips past Clark. Now almost Green as well. Clark now can bring it away. And a good opportunity for. City, they may just end up going for an attacking opportunity here. As Alabi is on his own in the middle to a cook, brings it over to the right hand side for Alabi. He'll definitely be able to hold on to it. No, in fact, he won't be able to run onto that one. That was a he's terrible like a ball. Alabi was in acres of space there. Well, we're still continuing. We've had five additional minutes now. Dyer, and the referee's about to blow his whistle, and he does so. And that's two wins in a row. 2 1 0 victories for Bath City. Here at Twerton Park now is ends Bath City at one, Eastbourne Borough nil. Ewan Clark scoring the goal in the second half. 78 minutes gone. And a big three points for City, but could potentially push him back up into the playoffs, Andrew. Yep, and uh, a scrappy game. And I think City probably on balance, they deserve winners. They had the best chance. They were the side that really looked as if they wanted to attack the game. As we said, Eastbourne started very slowly, looked disinterested at the start. They came back much better in the second period, down the slope, but still very little to disturb Casagrande. Apart from that one incident, wasn't there on the goal line? 
where we think it was Hutchinson put the ball wide, but uh, that apart, for such a big squad and so much money, you feel Eastbourne offered very little. Yeah, definitely. You know, big squad and a lot of options to use now. But again, this is a team that doesn't seem to have the same starting lineup week in, week out either. I don't know whether that's to do with availability or change of tactics or whatever it may be. But you can see again here, these players are not used to playing with each other. First half, especially, real lack of communication as all the Eastbourne players are going over to applaud their fans. A fair play to them for doing that. They, uh, they, they were. In there, in quite a few little bit of number actually, the uh, Eastbourne fans. So it's good to see right behind. And uh, we know uh, what a track it is. I would certainly do. It's a long journey back and a uh, fair play to coming here. And actually, the team put in a decent performance second half. But as you said, Andrew, Casa Grande not challenged enough. So, City doing exactly what they need to do a big 1 0 win. As we said, a whole succession of home games coming here at Twerton Park, dark for next Saturday. So, City will be really pleased. Uh, Scrappy it might be, but it's still a victory. Absolutely, it certainly is. A hard-fought victory at that. I thought that Tom Smith made a massive difference when he came on in that second half as well. He had a bit of energy and a bit more attacking prowess into that midfield for, for the Romans and Ewan Clark making the difference with that goal. Very fine finish. Alabi coming on, doing exactly what he had to do as well. So all round, great day for City. Another clean sheet as well. And I believe that is actually the 100th clean sheet in the league under Jerry Gill, which means he's the first manager to do it in the post-war era. Thank you very much for being with us this afternoon. 1,138 here at Twerton Park. City winning 1-0, Cody Cook assist. A Ewan Clark goal. We've enjoyed this afternoon. We hope you have.